As you guys know, my camping setup has been missing one very important ingredient for the longest time. You guys have been commenting about this for years, and that of course is a solar setup. As you might be able to see behind me, I finally got my hands on a decent set of solar panels, and they were definitely worth the wait. So these are my brand new solar panels, which I am very excited about, if you can't tell already. They're one of iTech World's brand new solar blankets that now has their Raptor Skin technology, which is uh, just awesome. This is their 300 watt model, which is the bigger of the two, and it should give me plenty of power to charge that canopy battery. But if you don't need quite this much power, they do also come in a 200 watt model, which is uh, a bit more compact and easy to transport. These kits come with literally everything you need to connect to pretty much any battery system, but the regulator is set to charge lithium by default, so just make sure you update those settings if you're charging something different. Given how well the rest of my iTech World gear has been going in the canopy setup, it was kind of a no-brainer for me to go for one of their solar panels as well. Because to me, having gear I can depend on out bush is really important. And the legends at iTech World have also agreed to provide this particular kit for me to show you guys as well, which I'm really grateful for. For 300 watt solar panels, I was really surprised at how compact this kit actually is. So it measures in at 680 mils long, 540 mils tall, and when it's folded up, it's about 50 mils wide. So pretty compact in my opinion. Weight wise, it's 11.5 kilos, which is uh, quite similar to a lithium battery, if that gives you a better idea of the weight. This whole orange section here, which is uh, the backing when it's folded out, is a ballistic nylon canvas. And what that means is it's really resistant to scratches and rips and uh, I suppose tears as well. And when you think about where you actually use solar panels, you're always gonna be setting them up on some rocks, sticks, or just some sort of rough surface, so that makes a big difference. On top of the pack here is a convenient carry handle, making them nice and easy to move around. And the whole kit itself is IP64 weatherproof, making it totally dust tight and splash resistant. The good thing about solar blankets too is you don't have to be a genius to use them and they're pretty much plug and play with any battery setup. So these come with all the pieces you need in this little uh, zipper pocket on the front of the bag here. For me, I'll be plugging mine straight into my DC-DC charger, so all I'll need to use is this nice long Anderson lead here with an Anderson connection each side. But if you're connecting yours to a uh, straight to your battery instead, it also comes with a couple of alligator clips with an Anderson plug on the other side and a 30 amp solar regulator. It's also got a couple of USB ports on the front too, so you can charge some devices while you're also charging your battery, or you can just use it as the world's biggest phone charger. So to set these up, all we have to do is spin the panels around and stand them up like this. You'll see two clips here we just press to, uh, press to release, and then we can start folding out the panels. On the back of each of the panels is one of these legs, so there's one on the back here as well. That's just held on by Velcro. So all you have to do is uh, grab that Velcro, pull it off, extend that leg out, and lean it back onto that leg. You'll also notice on the bottom of each of these legs is a small eyelet, so you can actually peg the panels down if conditions are pretty windy, which is uh, always the case when we go camping at least. They're not quite big enough to fit a sand peg through, but how we got around that in our recent trip down south is we just uh, clipped our sand peg around the black strap underneath, and uh, that seemed to work really well. So once that first panel's down, we'll get it uh, lined up in the position we want to be extending to. Open the next leg, fold it over, and then just repeat that procedure until all the panels are folded out. How easy is that? Now, you might be tempted to uh, put these flat on the ground if the sun is right overhead, but I highly recommend you don't do that because panels like these are designed to get airflow behind to keep them nice and cool. I also really like that these panels are a nice single row. Most of the time with panels this size, in terms of uh, 300 watt, they come in two layers. So there's kind of like six panels here and six above, and it just makes them really awkward to stand up. So being a single row is a big plus for me. The last step for me, because I'm going to be connecting these into my existing DC-DC charger, is to take our Anderson lead and plug one end into the solar panels inside that same pouch that we got all our connections from. Then take the other end of that Anderson cable and plug it into the solar inlet of my DC-DC charger. 
And easy as that, the solar panels are now connected to my DC-DC charger and we are officially charging. Now, if you're not running your solar panels through your DC-DC charger, it's still a really easy procedure. Instead of plugging the panels into that socket there, all we do is take the included uh, solar regulator, plug the panels into the solar input side, which is uh, this Anderson connection down the bottom here, plug those into that side, and you'll see as soon as we do, the screen fires up to say that we're registering 4.2 14.4 volts uh, on the output side of things to charge your battery. Now, if you have your own Anderson connection to connect to your dual battery, plug it into that side there. But if not, don't worry, there's the uh, included Anderson to alligator clip attachment here. So make sure you keep these two separate or ideally plug them into your battery first and then just uh, connect that side to the uh, output of that regulator. And now you're ready to charge your battery through those alligator clips. So as you can see, they are really easy to set up and use. And these panels have an operating temperature range of negative 40 to 85 degrees. So you should be right using them pretty much anywhere in Australia. They also support shade tolerant charging, which means even if it's not a perfect sunny day like it is today, and you've got a bit of cloud coverage hanging around, you should still be getting a little bit of charge. The panels themselves are made from A-grade monocrystalline solar cells, which are as good as you can get, and they've got blocking diodes fitted to every panel. In layman terms, what that essentially means is that when the solar panels get covered fully by either nighttime or a big cloud, they're not going to be draining your battery. So essentially the charge acts like a one-way street. What makes these panels so unique is that raptor skin coating on the front of each of those panels. That's UV resistant, anti-reflective, self-cleaning, non-scratch and also non-stick. Essentially what that means is they're super durable, they're going to stand up to stick scratches, general wear and tear, getting scuffed up by the sand and all those things. That's something you'll be really thankful for in a few years time and that coating also helps to keep the panels cool and increase their efficiency. So me and Bianca actually tested these panels out over the Christmas and New Year's break down at Bremer Bay, which was fantastic. And as a bit of an example of how they work in the real world, these panels were charging the battery faster than we could use that charge. And it wasn't a particularly like super sunny day, it was a bit of a mixture of cloud cover and the battery sat at 100% the whole day. So that's running an 85 litre fridge freezer combo, charging the drone and all our other camera gear and also running our lights. Solar is one of those things that just makes a lot of sense in my opinion, especially in Australia with our abundance of sunny weather. I mean, you can just keep adding batteries to your camping setup, but eventually you're still going to run out of power anyway. Whereas with one of these, I can effectively run my setup forever, provided there's some sunny days. So I suppose the next question to ask is, do you need solar for your setup? And to answer that, you kind of have to think about how often you run out of power when you're camping or how often you're checking that battery gauge to see if you're running low. If it's pretty often, then solar is a great investment for your setup, I would say. You can go down the route of a second battery instead, but in my opinion, solar is a better way to spend your money because it's something that you can transfer from vehicle to vehicle. You can lend it to your mates if they're running low and it's going to last you forever if you treat it right. It would also be a smart move to pick one of these up if you're planning on doing a longer trip. I know me and Bianca would have uh, really benefited from this in Karajini. So if you're planning some longer trips off the grid, it might be time to think about solar. If you have decided to get solar for your setup, there's a lot of debate online between fold-up solar blankets like these and fixed solar panels. I was kind of on the fence myself, to be honest, but in the end, I decided to go for the fold-up solar blanket for a couple of reasons. The first was there's no installation on the actual vehicle, so you can kind of uh, take these out of the car, put them in whenever you need them, and as you guys saw, it's a pretty quick setup procedure to get them up and running. The second point was I can uh, still park my car in the shade and run these out to wherever the sun is, so I'm not kind of, uh, it's not dependent on where I park the vehicle. Obviously the benefits of fixed solar panels are that once they're installed they're, they're good to go. There's no actual setup when you get to camp. A man of mine's got them installed on his rooftop tent and loves them. As soon as he rocks up at camp his solar's already collecting power from the sun and he's good to go. But for me solar blankets suited my style better. Anyway guys, those are my brand new iTech World solar panels that I am very excited about and it's, uh, it's going to mean that we can take some longer camping trips and uh, not have to worry about charging our battery with uh, anything other than solar. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you to iTech World once again for providing these panels. Much appreciated and uh, I know Bianca appreciates them as well because we can uh, make sure our fridge stays running on those longer camping trips. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Because have had in gear, have, what does Hattie say? Had having gear, because had... Had having gear, family. Having had! Having had gear! <laughs>